Morning! So is, or afternoon, or whatever time of day you're watching this. As some of y'all know I've been making some pretty large uh, woven platters. And um, they're fairly time consuming. And I needed a, a good way to display them. So we're making a dare of these little plate holders. Or platter holders. Bowl holders. Whatever. Um, now these are these are designed to, to to take the 14 inch platters that I've been doing um, but you can adjust the size of your of your leg here to accept whatever it is you needed to make this like it holds bowls I've been doing and the platters really nice so it's a pretty pretty common or not common but a pretty basic build so you want to see how I do it check it out Alright, so what I got is uh, two pieces of 5 sixteenths, I believe that's correct, let's, let's check. Yep. Two pieces of 5 sixteenths um, milled up and then taped together. Now I, this, was, this was a long board or a thick board, um, I resawed it first, run it through the planter and then taped it up because it's a lot easier to do it that way than try to resaw it after you cut out your out your uh, legs. So if you can see that I got just a just a real simple little pattern. This is where the plate or bowl will, will sit. So let's get it cut out. We'll take them over to the sander and get them sanded up. Now here I just got a quarter inch round over bit going to round over all the outside edges on both pieces, well outside and inside edges on both pieces. And I'm going to apply some stain. Now, I've been using this Rust-Oleum. Um, this Rust-Oleum stain, it, it goes on really smooth, very little blotching. Of course, this is, this is hard maple, so there's little blotching anyway, but... Uh, it goes on really nice and it dries extremely fast. I mean, you're ready to put a finish on in less than an hour. I did do a little bit of hand sanding on that. Not, not a whole lot, though. Dealing with small pieces like this, I like to put a little tape to keep them lined up. And then I'll flip it over and mark out for the hinges. Just helps keep them from sliding around. Pretty drilling for the little number three inch screws or number three screws they uh... they tend to strip out pretty easy and they're not a whole lot of fun and finishing it up Now this platter I'm using is just a uh, chip and dip tray. It's not necessarily the platters that I usually put on here, but it's going to work for the demonstration at hand. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.